<laughs> anyway, we're moving on to arowana breeding. Yes. And uh, if you, you can see that, you know, in the past like 10, 20 years, a lot of people are interested in um, arowana because mm. it brings you luck. Uh, yes. Moong lah. You know, if you have arowana from small and it grows really big, it will bring luck to the, yeah, to the, the ornamental home. fisher, people call yeah. it. Yeah. And a lot of potential for breeding in Malaysia. So, uh, we'll be talking to our guests about this. Uh, let us welcome them in yes. the studio this morning. Yeah, Mr. Michael Yu on our far left, uh, who is the CEO of Arowana Venture Berhad, and Mr. Eric Chung, the MD of Arowana World Breeding Farm at Sinan Berhad. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. morning. Mm. Okay, so uh, for, let's just uh, kick off this uh, segment with uh, an introduction to Arowana breeding in Malaysia, first of all. Yeah. How is the landscape of Arowana? Um, you know, the interest of having Arowana fish uh, or breeding here in Malaysia? It took about 10 years ago mm. in Malaysia. Um, it's uh, suitability of the cremate and water quality in particular areas mm -hmm. like Pukimera and Arokongsu. Okay. So, um, <coughs> the industry is still fragmented mm. uh, in many small players because of uh, the amount on export for the ornamental fish in Malaysia is uh, contribute to uh, 250 million in the whole years okay. in uh, 2010 mm -hmm. uh, 201 no. um, okay mm. Mm -hmm. okay so uh, Michael can you explain on the uh, relationship between your companies first in Arowana breeding yeah mm. okay uh, basically Arowana Venture is a management company of the Arowana Venture breeding management scheme mm -hmm. it's an interest scheme recently approved by the Companies Commission of Malaysia okay. Arowana World Breeding Farm is the owner of the land mm. uh, and they have leased the land to us for 25 years okay. and uh, we have also outsourced the management of the farm, mm. the breeding management mm. to Arowana World for 25 years. Mm. So basically they are our technical experts on Arowana breeding. Right. Okay, mm. 25 years. So when you, <laughs> so when you had this, uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> when you had this venture, uh, um, uh, do you what what sort of awareness would you like to create to mm. the public about Arowana? Yeah. Okay. Uh, basically, now we have this uh, interest scheme mm -hmm. under the Companies Commission of Malaysia. Mm -hmm. uh, interest scheme is uh, different from the normal registration of business. Mm -hmm. This one is uh, specifically under Division Five, Part Four of the Companies Act. Okay. So with this interest scheme, we are able to offer investment opportunities to the public mm -hmm. in Arowana investment. Mm -hmm. And in fact, we are the first uh, legal interest scheme in Arowana breeding in Malaysia. So, uh, as of course, CCM, the Companies Commission of Malaysia, CCM's priority is to protect the interests of the public. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they set very stringent yeah. guidelines that we have to comply to mm -hmm. to ensure that this scheme can be a success. Okay. Um, among the stringent guidelines is that uh, interest scheme companies like us, we need to have a trustee on board to safeguard the trust accounts in the scheme. Mm -hmm. An independent consultant who oversees the technical aspect of the scheme. You know, an approved trust deed uh, with the company's commission of Malaysia, mm -hmm. which binds the parties uh, of the scheme, yep. and also uh, prospectus, which is approved by the company's commission of Malaysia, okay. uh, which explains in detail the characteristics of the scheme. Mm -hmm. So, once there is public participation in the scheme, investors, mm -hmm. uh, together with us, the com management company, mm -hmm. we aim to build this industry further. Right. Bring it to greater heights, yes. you know, and at the same time, we can contribute in a bigger way to the growth of the economy of our nation. Right. Okay. Mm. So this AVBM scheme, mm. it's uh, in Alupongsu. Yes, that's uh, mm. north of Perak. Okay. Uh, how many uh, Arwanas are we talking about here? Yeah. Okay. In phase one. Uh, there are 25 breeding ponds. Mm. Every breeding pond consists of 20 high-back arowanas. Okay. Mm. Uh, that means there's a total of 500 high-back arowanas. Mm. 
Okay. So these 500 high-back arowanas, it represents uh, 5,000 undivided interest units in the scheme, mm -hmm. or UDI units in the mm -hmm. scheme. Uh, every UDI unit costs 2,500 ringgit. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, it represents a uh, few items. Mm. Right. Of course, uh, one of them is the unlimited death replacement. Mm. Because when you talk about investing in livestock like arowana, yeah. uh -huh. I think the majority of investors are very afraid of the death risk. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. But because this one, uh, the underlying asset, which is the high-back arowana, mm -hmm. does not belong to the investor. Mm -hmm. They basically buy an interest in the farm, right. or they have a share in the farm. Uh -huh. So. All death of arowanas have to be replaced by the management company. Okay. Mm. Okay. So That's once we question. invest in this scheme, yep. uh, where does the money actually go to in terms of the breeding? What actually happens afterwards? Yeah. And okay. The thing, and also the singing fund, uh -huh. one of the uh, benefit for the investor of mm. the UDI. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So how the sinking fund works is every two thousand five hundred. Uh, we, we collect mm -hmm. based on the purchase of uh, one UDI unit mm -hmm. there is a certain portion which goes to the trust accounts which is safeguarded by the trustee mm -hmm. so this money in the trust accounts mm -hmm. are there for specific reasons like if trust account 2 is actually a sinking fund where this sinking fund is used to ensure that the underlying assets the high back arowanas in the scheme mm. you know uh, 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 there's money there to replace right. in case of death yep. and also the major repairs and replacements needed by the breeding farm mm -hmm. over the tenor of the scheme right mm -hmm. Well, Eric, uh, coming from the Arowana World Breeding Farm, in okay. um, how long does it take to breed the Arowana from, you know, from small until it's big enough for it? It's going to be, it can, it, it was going to be sold, right? Mm. It's, it's for, for sale, right? Um, how long does it take for, for you to breed it? Uh, once the uh, matured fish, they breed the small fish, mm -hmm. we call it a uh, fries. So, okay. uh, once the fries uh, reach the size about 12 cm, mm -hmm. that means uh, three year, uh, three months uh, old. Okay. Then we can export because uh, every fish must be put in the microchip. We call it a uh, tag. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is controlled by the CITES, the Convention in Trade of uh, Endangered Species. Yeah, international. Do you actually put uh, em embed a uh, microchip in each of this uh, arowana? Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Oh, everything. <laughs> Branding, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and where are they exported to? Uh, the mainly market is China. Okay. Uh -huh. Mostly 95% in Asian market. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we target in the 2013. Mm -hmm. So we target also the India market and the Europe market. Okay. Mm -hmm. and how much potential does um, exporting of arowana have? I mean, do we have any other competitors besides Malaysia? Mm. Uh, there is only three countries successfully to breed captivity in the whole world. Mm -hmm. uh, Malaysia is the largest? Uh, mostly, uh, hopefully. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, okay. Which are the other countries? The, other, the countries? other two countries is Singapore and Indonesia. Oh, I see. So the countries such as uh, you know, Singapore, Indonesia, Malaysia are, uh, and, and in Southeast Asia are, yes. are suitable for yes. the climate. Actually, there's only three countries in the world, uh -huh. which is Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia. Uh -huh. uh, it's known to be able to breed these Aro Asian arowanas for export. Uh, in oh. captivity. Yes, in oh. captivity. So, you know, there's a very huge market. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because imagine if you see uh, an arowana in China yeah. you know, or Japan. Different. They're different. All originated from these three countries. I see. When they were fries. Okay. Oh. So, uh, if we are uh, interested in the ABBM scheme, how can we take part then? Yeah, where do we go to, you know, and then just to find more information? Um, who do we look for in terms of, you know? Uh, we have a uh, retail showroom mm -hmm. in Viva Mall, Jana Lok Yu. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it's in Kuala Lumpur. Okay. Uh, they can also reach us at our toll free number 1 800 222 388. Or visit our website at uh, www.arowanaventure.com. 
marijuanaventure.com. Yes. Okay. And with that, uh, we've come to the end of this segment. Thank yes. you so much, uh, Michael, Michael and, and Eric, for yes, joining us you, this you. morning. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, arowanaventure.com is the website if you're interested in the AVBM scheme and if you want to find out more about arowana breeding. Mm -hmm.